with that suicide bombing that killed eight Americans at a CIA base in eastern Afghanistan. It's believed to be one of the deadliest attacks in the agency's history, and this morning the Taliban are claiming responsibility. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin has the latest on this story, and he joins us this morning. Good morning, David. Good morning, Harry. The CIA still has not confirmed the deaths, but officials say eight CIA, CIA employees were killed and as many as eight more wounded. Uh, the bomber apparently just walked up to them on the base and detonated his suicide ba uh, vest. What he was doing on the base, how he got on the base, whether he was deliberately targeting the CIA or just out to kill Americans are among the many things still under investigation. But one thing seems clear. This was the worst single loss of life for the CIA since 1983 when a truck bomber blew up the American embassy in Beirut. As far as we know, eight employees of the CIA had been killed in Afghanistan prior to yesterday's uh, bombing. This uh, base that they were working out of, not so far from coast, which is that area around North Waziristan, which is a Taliban hotbed in that border mm -hmm. area between Afghanistan and Pakistan, what would the CIA have been doing there? Well, we don't know specifically what these eight were doing, but this is exactly the kind of place where the CIA would try to recruit locals who could cross over the border into Pakistan and report what they see, intelligence that could be used to uh, target predator drone attacks, uh, for instance. The Taliban, of course, would uh, know or at least suspect what the CIA was up to and in classic espionage fashion would try to uh, turn those uh, CIA spies into double agents working for the Taliban. Whether that happened in this case, we uh, don't know yet. Mm, terrible story. David Martin from the Pentagon this morning. Thanks so much.